you say you have um, contractors um, for repair work, and I assume with this you have an emergency structure for call-outs, such as with leaks. Well, I'm also assuming you have building contents insurance, and therefore I cannot, if not, why not? And I think you should have it, because when someone's had a leak, as we saw in the clip, that brought down a ceiling, that lip of leak would be there beforehand. You'd notice the marks and you'd look at it and investigate it before it brought down the ceiling. If you haven't got people who can come out to a leak to deal with it straight away, which gets a minor bill in comparison, a big bill when it brings down the ceiling, there are plenty of private contractors out there. If your particular contractors can't do it, you have to pay. But if you have building insurance, it will cover it. And I... I just don't understand how leaks cannot be identified, have an emergency call out to be addressed, to save the concrete rotting, to save the ceiling fall falling down. It, it just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand how you can't deal with that. I can give you a name of a very wealthy private contractor operating in London who will come out within half an hour to do a leak for you. If I can do it, I don't know why your company can't do it. Yes, the contract, we do deliver emergency repairs. And I think John gave some of the information earlier, but um, in, a, in, my, in March 21, there were 379 emergency jobs. The average time to complete that emergency to make safe was 0.15 so within the day and making safe because that, absolutely that's what's important april 21 365 emergencies 0.28 of a day to respond and in may 298 and 0.21 of a day to respond so we do have insurance obviously for our buildings but in terms of the internals uh, belongings for customers that um, residents have their own insurance. And John, I wonder whether you could just share a bit of the difficulty uh, and challenges in terms of leaks and detection. Um, in terms of the leaks, I just want to talk directly about Eastfields. We obviously um, look at leaks across our whole stock. Eastfields is, has a particular issue. It has one continuous roof um, across the whole estate. Um, and what that means is that we, on the particular property that was shown there, there were four separate leaks, not in the, um, only one was in the property directly in the roof above the property. Some were traveling from elsewhere. The main leak ended up being in a freeholder property and we had to work with that person to try and get them to remedy the leak so they're not straightforward because of the design of the property again it's one of the reasons why um, we would be grateful to um, move the regeneration forward the other issue though in the, some of the rest of our stock um, properties were built with embedded pipe working concrete so we will often go around and try and look at uh, remedying leaks and trying to fix where we think it could be and only digging up huge um, walls and floors to try and get into embedded pipework at the last resort once we've gone through and eliminated other options because the disruptions to our residents there are huge when we do that um, so you know that those can be some of the challenges that we have it's not standard yeah if it's a straightforward leak in your property um, self-contained we fix them just like the private contractor you were describing would fix them 